Hello. So what I'm going to be doing today is working on this hoist and getting it mounted to the ceiling. So what we have here is a Pittsburgh 1,300-pound uh, winch. It has 650-pound capacity on a single line and 1,300-pound on the double line. Um, got a bunch of hardware here. So what I'm going to be working on is getting it mounted up to the ceiling there on a track with these trolleys. So we're going to do something with this angle iron here. Um, have the trolley mounted in the middle here, have some spacers in between, so we'll uh, work through how we're going to do it as we go here. I went ahead and marked and drilled out my first set of holes on the first piece of angle iron here to line up with our holes here, so that looks like it's pretty good. Uh, the Harbor Freight winch actually came with some mounting bolts here that are going to work perfectly for this, so we'll go ahead and get those started in here to make sure that everything lines up the way I want it to. Yeah, that looks good. So we'll go ahead and mark out the other piece of angle iron and drill the holes for the other side. So here's how, how I'm going to mirror my holes uh, from one piece of angle to the other. So you know I've got my one that I've already drilled. I'm going to take it, set it on top of this piece of angle I've got sitting on the uh, corner of my workbench here. Get our edges lined up there. Take my half-inch centering punch. Let's go with my half-inch hole I have there. Go ahead, set that in there gently, make sure I'm all lined up. Take my hammer, give myself a nice dimple there. Okay, now we'll go ahead and do the other side here quick. Okay, so now I know exactly where my holes need to be. In case you're wondering what I'm using to drill my holes, I actually have a drill press here my lovely wife bought me a few years ago off of Amazon. It's a Wen brand, 12 inch. Just a you know pretty plain Jane uh, drill press here, but um, nice feature. It's got an adjustable up and down table swivels. Um, obviously, you can set your depth here. It has a uh, work laser and a work light, so it uh, it works pretty good. Uh, half inch chuck, a little bit underpowered sometimes if you're trying to drill through some really thick uh, steel or something like that. But um, for the most part, you can work your way through it, and it's worked well for me so far. All right, I went ahead and drilled my other set of holes here, my other piece of angle iron, and we're going to see if our holes line up here now. I went ahead and flipped the winch around so you can see how I'm, what I'm working with here. So let's see here. First glance, everything looks good. All right, that one's threading right in. And look at that. We're all lined up. All right, now I'm not really going to crank those down yet. Now we're going to figure out what we want to do with our trolley and our spacers and all that sort of thing. So stay tuned. Slight change of plans here. So I'm thinking that messing around with all those spacers is going to be just kind of a big pain in the butt. So what I'm going to do is found this in my scrap heap there, just a piece of a uh, piece of round bar stock. I'm going to drill out the center hole on each trolley. I've got two trolleys, a little bit bigger. Slide that bar stock through, and then weld it to the trolley. And then I will use that as the spacer in between here to help you know, keep everything rigid. So I think I'm going to do it that way. Um, I'll check back in a few minutes. All right, so I went ahead and I drilled out my center hole bigger there on my trolley and cut down a piece of that uh, bar stock. And that looks like that's going to work rather well there. I haven't welded it yet, but uh, I set that there, drill through, and use my two bolts through there. I think that'll work just fine to keep it from sliding back and forth. So I'm going to go ahead and make up the other one, and then I'll catch you guys back up. I've got both of my spacers made. I've got both of my center holes drilled out here. Now it's time to figure out where I want my holes to be on the trolley. So I'm going to go ahead and mark those out. It'll be something about like this, and then I will check back when that is complete. All right, I got my four holes drilled for the trolley there. Uh, looks like everything lines up pretty good on that one. Everything lines up pretty good on that one. Now we'll go ahead and mirror it on this piece. All right, I got all my holes drilled. Now we're going to put everything together here and do a test fit. So we'll go ahead and get our bolts in, just like we had them before. All 
Alright. Let's get our snugged up here. Okay. Assemble some washers here. Do it without the dot with uh without the spacers for the moment here, but uh, we'll get there. You know, it looks like our holes are a little snug there yet. I'm just gonna go grab a drill bit in so I can ream those out a bit. Stay tuned. All right, I went through and I just reamed out the the holes really quick from both sides using my drill here. So now the bolt slide right through all four of them. So that's looking pretty good. There we go. Right, now let's do a test fit with our trolleys. That looks good. Trolley number two. That one's still a little snug, so I'll just go ahead and ream that out a little bit more, but it should be in good shape here. So next step will be to go ahead and weld our our uh, spacers into the trolleys there. All right, I got my stuff set up here on my welding station. All I'm really going to do is uh, just tack it in here and here on the other side just so it doesn't move. So I'm using some 6013 rod. Just going to hit it real quick on both sides and make sure that it stays. So we'll see. And that should be all we need. We'll go ahead and do the other one, and then we'll meet you back at the table. All right, well, here's the finished product. We got both of our trolleys uh, tacked together here with our spacers, so now we're going to assemble. So I'll give you a quick time lapse of me putting everything together, and then we'll see what the finished product looks like. <laughs> There we go, everything's all put back together, ready to go. And it seems to be rolling as it should, solid, not going anywhere, so we're going to go ahead and put it up in our track. So here's where the uh, the hoist and trolley is going to go up here in this track. Um, you can see I've got it bolted right to the uh, rafters there. I use these structural screws to run it right into the rafters so everything should be nice and strong i've got rafters every two feet here so there's support every two feet along the way so let's get the uh hoist up there and see how it works i didn't film me struggling to get that up there because it isn't light so uh here's where we're at she's up there it works i'll show you how it uh moves along here Rolls along nice and easy so that's good so now what we're going to do is run that track all the way down to the other end there. So I've already snapped a line you can see up there. So uh, you're, we're going to have a time lapse here of me running the rest of it. So a little trick I figured out when I was putting up the first one is uh, these little brackets actually came with the hoist kit. And they're actually taller than what the rail is here. So since I'm alone, I'm going to be able to put up this 10 foot piece by myself. So what I'm going to do, or what I did for the first one, is I took this bracket, 
um, up there with the one piece and I took some of those screws I was just showing you when I bolted it right up there to the uh, rafter and that way right in the middle that way I can get it up there pretty easily really balanced get it to where I want or close to where I want it and then go over to the other end and I'm able to slide it in that bracket to get it right up snug to the uh, previous rail so that's what I'm going to do all the way along here is installed. Let's see how she slides. I'm at Not too bad. A few self-clearance issues over there, but uh, we'll take care of that later on. Now, one thing left to do is just try out the winch and see how it works. All right, we got our winch plugged in and hooked up to the back of my sled here, and let's just see how she lifts it. Wow. That was pretty fast. That was pretty impressive. That'll do. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this helped somebody out.